Hello, welcome. Welcome to Slow Flow. If you are following me on Spotify, please make sure you're using the Slow Flow 2 playlist. Um, once you have your playlist and have yourself set, go ahead and push start. And then start to make your way towards a child's pose. As always, if this pose is not comfortable for you or you're really being called to another shape, you're of course welcome to make adjustments. We're starting to bring your big toes together. Heel hips can start to sink back toward your heels. Knee separating. And just allowing the breath and the body just sink up. Gaze softens or eyes even close. And just tune in. Allowing yourself to just acknowledge where you are today. No matter what that is, it's part of you, it's where you are. Noticing where your body feels tight. Maybe you're carrying extra tension. You begin to feel the subtle shifts taking place in your body in this place of stillness. As you just allow yourself to become present. Start to slowly take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up the belly, the ribs, the top of the chest, and slowly exhaling out with an even breath, releasing the chest, the ribs, and the belly. Then inhale slowly, filling all the way to the very top of the chest, even exhale. Take two more rounds at your own pace. Maybe counting to three or four and exhaling slowly to that same count. And when you're ready, Start to gently shift your weight forward, coming to hands and knees, tabletop position. Feeling all 10 fingers wide, body firmly planted. Belly's gonna squeeze up towards the midline, supporting your back. Head's nice and long. And on your next inhale, go ahead, drop the belly, lift the gaze, fill everything up. And as you exhale, round the spine, squeeze the belly up, let the neck relax. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart, feel the shoulders rolling back. 
Exhale, squeeze the breath up, hands press down into the mat. Continuing to move it with that even breath. Just waking up the spine. Few more rounds. And then very carefully tuck your toes under. Begin to lift your hips up and back, coming to upside down V-shape or downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a few minutes here. Just explore, bending one knee, then the other. The whole time, heels are gonna be working their way closer to the mat, belly squeezing towards that midline, chest is releasing itself towards your thighs. Neck nice and long. Feel all 10 fingers wide. Thumb and forefinger pressing down to the mat. Take a moment of stillness. Breath comes in. Full breath goes out. Next, inhale. Squeeze that belly towards the midline. Shift your body weight forward, finding our first plank. The hands are pressing the earth away. Neck is long as you gaze forward and down. Inner thighs are engaged. Keep everything squeezing together and then gently let your knees float down to the mat. Toes are uncurled. we we'll start to gently bend your elbows just a little bit. And then slowly roll your shoulders back, gaze goes up. Arms can stay bent for baby cobra or maybe you wanna straighten them all the way up to upward facing dog, your choice. Pick which back bend you like. And then tuck your toes, hip shift up and back. Return to downward facing dog. Go ahead and do that again. Take a deep breath in fully. Big full breath out. Inhale again, shift your weight forward, finding your inner thigh squeezing engagement there. And then gently knees float down. So arms are gonna bend. You don't have to go very far. You wanna feel that engagement and then roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, gaze goes up, and then exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog, good. That whole sequence is called a vinyasa. Next inhale fills you up, and as you exhale, bend your knees, gaze comes forward, step, hop, or jump your feet all the way to the top of the mat, finding a forward fold. As you inhale, back lifts halfway. Go ahead and let your hands find a connection to the ground, shins, knees, anywhere in your body. Belly is squeezing up, shoulders stay together, gaze is forward, good. Exhale, fold half all the way down. At this time, inhale, come all the way up to the sky, gaze goes up. And as you exhale, we're gonna to come to Tadasana, mountain pose, standing nice and tall. So go ahead and pick up all 10 toes. Spread them wide and place them down onto the mat. Arches are active. Feet are gonna press down into the ground while at the same time, energy is squeezing up through the midline. Shoulders float down your back. On the next inhale, arms come up to the sky, gaze goes up. Go ahead, interlace your fingers, flip your wrists up toward the sky. And as you exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center, gaze goes up. Exhale, find the side bend to the left. Inhale through center, gaze goes up towards your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Again, inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, legs step back, find that plank. We've been here before. Your choice, knees can go drop down or you leave them lifted, whatever works best for your body. But start to bend your elbows and then find your version of a back bend. And as you exhale, hips go up and back. Return to that downward facing dog and find three of those equal yogi breaths. Feel that thumb and forefinger down into the mat. 
When your body says you're ready, you bend your knees, gaze forward. Step, hop, or jump your feet to the top of the mat. Find a forward fold. You lift halfway, preparing the back, lengthen everything out. Exhale, fold it down. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Interlace your fingers and flip your wrists. Find a side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, left. Keeping that even yogi breath. Gaze up, fold it down. Inhale, lift halfway. Bend your knees, plant your hands, legs go back. Find your yogi push up. It's called chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart and chest. Exhale. Hips up and back, three breaths. On the final exhale, feet find the way at the top. You lift halfway, fold it down. Let's go ahead and move through the sequence at least one more time, but move at the pace that your breath is calling to you. Next time you find yourself in a floor and fold the top of the mat, lift yourself all the way up, then come back to Tadasana, that standing pose. And just check in, close your eyes. What do you notice? What do you feel right here? Notice the feet grounding down, the head pulling up. Feel the energy moving through your body. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our toes to touch just a little bit. Heels are gonna kick slightly apart. If you have really wide hips, you might wanna take them further apart, that's okay. On your next inhale, you're gonna bend your knees deeply, sink your hips, arms come up to the sky, finding your way to Ukatasana, chair pose. From here, exhale, forward fold all the way down. On the inhale, lift your back halfway. And this time, as you exhale, fold deep and let the left leg step back nice and long. Ground the back heel down, front knee stays bent. As you inhale, root the feet in, both arms come up to the sky, finding that warrior one, gaze goes up to the sky. As you exhale, bring both arms down, back heel can spin up, knee can stay lifted or drop down, yogi choice. As you inhale, lift the up, right arm up to the sky, finding a dragonfly twist. Exhale, bring the hand down. As you inhale, both arms reach forward. Back legs gonna lift as high as it can go. Call the standing split. Exhale, fold all the way back down, finding that forward fold. Inhale, back lifts halfway. Exhale, this time right foot steps back, ground the heel. Both legs root, arms come up, finding that warrior one. Exhale, come all the way down, leave the knee lifted or or drop it down, whatever feels best. Dragonfly twist. Exhale, hands come down, reach it forward. And as you inhale, lift the back leg. Maybe if you were feeling more, if you want more of a challenge, you bring one hand behind the calf. You try to pull your head closer to your, knee, to your knee. Just an option. As you exhale, you forward fold all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips. Find your way to chair pose. Exhale, fold it down, keeping that even breath. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left leg back and long. Inhale, warrior one, feel the grounding down and the pulling up. Exhale, hands come down, back heel spins up. Inhale, dragonfly twist. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, lift the back leg, standing split. Lift it just as high as you can go. Doesn't matter if it actually looks like a split. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, left leg, or right leg, sorry, sits back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hand comes, come down. Inhale, dragonfly. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift your back leg up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold again. Sink your hips into your chair. Feel this place in. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, root and go low. Exhale. Inhale, dragonfly. Exhale, hands come down, get grounded and steady. Inhale, lift that leg. Exhale, fold deep, release the neck. Lift halfway. Exhale, find the other side. So we move slower, hence the term slow flow, as the breath guides our pace, allowing us to feel, take the time to really feel these shapes. Helps us build strength and greater body awareness of sensation. So take your time and continue to move. If you want to make a choice to even try around with your eyes closed, it's kind of fun. Definitely a balanced challenge. Keep moving, keep breathing. Notice what you feel. Maybe a little heat, activating some muscles. When you finish your last round and take your time, there's no rush. We're all gonna meet up again in that Tadasana, that mountain pose. Take a minute here with your arms up. You really feel the fingertips reaching up, shoulder blades pulling down, and just feel the strength in that place. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Heads are going to grow even taller. Good. Big breath in. Big even breath out. But keeping our toes together, heels apart. As you inhale, sink your hips back down to your chair pose. And this time as you exhale, hands to heart center. Take a twist going to the right. So you're going to bring your left upper arm across your right thigh. Gaze goes up. We're gonna stay here in the twisted chair pose for a few breaths. So feel the palms pressing together. Inner thighs are actively engaged. Head re reaching toward the front of the mat. And each exhale, you twist a little bit more if you have any space. Let's take two more breaths here in this place. On your second exhale, gaze down to the floor. Weight's gonna shift to the right foot. Left leg steps up nice and low. 
finding a prayer twist. Back heel can spin up or ground it down if you prefer. Feel the inner thighs engage. Belly's really gonna squeeze. And if you can, gaze goes back up to the sky. Feel the length and the strength. One more breath here. Exhale, gaze down, root the foot, straighten the front leg. As you inhale, arm reaches up and back, grabbing this wrist, opens whole side body, sky archer. Inner thighs squeeze as feet are separating the mat. Shoulders slide down your back. On your next exhale, arms come up to a T, reach the arms forward, and then come down, find your way to triangle pose. So top shoulders rolling back, sides of the body are nice and long, gaze up with the top hand. If your body allows, maybe you wanna go for that yogi toe hold. Piece figure dropping on your toes, but don't compromise the shape by rolling your chest in. Keep that opening. If you need to bring your hand up, up even higher or on a block, whatever works. We're going to give ourselves three more breaths in this place. On that last exhale, gaze down at the foot, press into the feet, come up to that star shape. Turn both heels to face backwards. Exhale, hands come behind your back. Interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back, gaze goes up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Trying to move those arms away from the low back, neck nice and loose. You're welcome to bring your arms down to the mat if that's better for stability. Trying to see if you can keep your weight in the fronts of your toes instead of back in your heels. Nice soft knees. Three more breaths. Release the hands down. Walk towards the back of the mat. Both legs are gonna stay straight here. Hands come either side of your leg. We're into pyramid pose. So you wanna feel the left hip tapping back Right hip pushing forward. If you need to step the back foot in, so you're not hurting your legs, you're welcome to make that adjustment. Belly squeezing up and in. Head lengthening as it reaches towards the bottom of the mat. Next inhale, shift your weight into the front leg. Hands are gonna come to heart center or out to the sides. Lift the back leg up, head reaches forward. Yeah, we're balancing in a warrior three. So the head reaching forward, foot back. Lengthen here. Toes that standing foot nice and wide. Foot pressing down to the mat. Pull that knee up high into your chest. Plant the sole of the foot so anywhere along the thigh or anywhere along that leg. Hands to heart center for another balance. Maybe you can grow your tree a little bit more. One more breath. Hands and feet come down. Back to Shadasana, other side. So inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips. Exhale, twist to the left. Belly strong. Hips are nice and low, thighs are active, gaze up. And as we go through repeating the sequence, really focus on that even breath and all the strength and sensations you're feeling in your body.
gaze down at the big toe. Shift your weight, right foot steps back, inner thighs engaged, prayer twist. Again, inhales, you see how much length you can, space you can take up. Exhales, you twist a little more. Ground the back foot, straighten the front leg. Sky archer on this side, open that side body. Exhale, arms to a T, reach it forward. Triangle on this side. Again, side bodies are long, gaze up to the sky. Feel the reaching up of that top hand, the grounding down. Next, inhale, come up to that star shape. Turn the heels back. This time, hands come to your hips. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, folding down. Again, find the variation you like best. Since we just did this shape, we're not gonna spend too much time here. So release the hands, walk yourself to the back of the mat. Legs are gonna stay straight. Finding your version of pyramid pose. Again, right hip this time is tacking back. It's a nice hamstring opener. Lengthening the body down. In the traditional form, you're trying to get your nose to your shin and hands might be behind your back, grabbing opposite elbows or reverse prayer. That's always an arm variation you're welcome to try instead. So keep that belly strong, feet grounded. Next inhale, bend into the front foot. Lift that back leg. Warrior three, let's find just three deep breaths on this side. Length and strength. Inhale, pull that knee up. Place that foot anywhere on the thigh. Grow that tree nice and tall. Head lifts up. Exhale, release everything down. Find that Tadasana. That standing pose one more time. Checking in. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, let's fold it down. Inhale, half lift. Bend your knees, plant your hands, legs go back. And this time, drop your knees down to a tabletop position. All right, so our body should be nice and warm now. Now we're gonna try building a little bit more strength. So first, find that tabletop position. Feel the fingers rooted. Energy shooting all the way through the pads of the fingertips. Straighten the right leg towards the back of the mat. Energy out that back heel. Good. Now take the length of that heel, head reaching forward. Drop the foot towards your midline so the toe turns out. And as you in inhale, right hand's gonna reach up to the sky. Back foot can turn, play a kickstand this way, or leave it straight, whatever works best for you. We press down into the mat, reach everything up, gaze goes up to the sky. Finding a grounded side plank. Notice the energy from the heels to the head. Exhale back through the center. Same thing left side, left leg reaches back. 
Inhale, roll the shoulder back, gaze goes up. We've been working all class on opening this whole side body, right? This is why. So fingertips are up, gaze is up, find the length, find the strength. And we're gonna start to build on the shape. So if this stripe is strong enough for you, I want you to keep repeating that shape. If you want a little bit more, go ahead and straighten the back leg. Lift the leg up to hip height. And this time, leave the leg lifted. Same thing. Really strengthening those adductors. Feel the supporting leg. Feel the grounding down even more of that supported hand. But side bodies are long, not collapsing down. For three, for two, for one, back to center. Feel the feet grounded down. Straighten the back leg. Lift at hip height. To find the strength here first, then drop that foot towards the middle and keep it lifted, lift everything up. Again, you should really feel this right here. Muscles engaged. If the breath starts to get shaky or shallow, come back to maybe not be the focus point. So often the breath is the only thing you can control. Back to center. Hip shift back to child's just a breath. So you have two variations. We're going to add on one more. You're welcome to repeat either one that we just did. Or if you want a little bit more, go ahead, straighten the right leg to the back. Left leg joins that we've been here in this plank all class. Keep that belly strong, head forward. And then the next inhale, both legs are gonna shift to the left. Right arm reaches up, like the side body. Vasi Stasana, side plank. Feel the grounding down, the pulling up. Sides engaged. Back through center. Inhale, rotate other side. Now this still feels like you need more heat. You're welcome to lift that top leg. Maybe even grab the big toe of the top foot. Those are just options. Yoga is not about performing postures or asanas. So seeing what you can do in that day, in that breath. So come back through the center. Drop your knees down. Come back to child's. Let's find three deep breaths here. And when you're ready, gently walk your hands in. Roll yourself up to seated. Let's go ahead and bring both legs around long to the front in front of you. Sitting nice and tall. You're gonna sole the right foot anywhere along that left leg, just like we did in tree pose. But this time, inhale, let the breath fill your whole body up. Turn towards that extended leg slightly. And as you exhale, reach forward. And then just release. Coming to Janus or Sasana. In the Ashtanga practice with this pose, your at bottom leg is engaged. We're taking a yin approach. So releasing the muscular engagement. Releasing any pulling. Really allowing your body to just sink into the shape. Just experience it.
You feel that you're holding your breath. See if you can release it. Releasing tension in the jaw and the neck. Three more breaths. Slowly begin to walk your hands back up by your hips. Now the spine tall. Let the right leg come along. Left leg comes in. And when you're ready to again, take a deep breath in. Turn slightly over the extended leg. And then begin to just release into the second side of this pose. Allowing the breath to return to a natural pace. And just see if you can find those subtle movements that are occurring with each inhale and exhale. Continuing to check in. Now as the mind wanders, which it will do, gently and compassionately guides it back. Take three more breaths. And again, gently walk your hands up. Go ahead and plant both feet flat on the mat. And then gently Roll yourself all the way down. And go ahead and just come the legs up for a minute. If you have a wall nearby and you want to turn to use the wall, go for it. So often we get stuck in trying to do things that are more intense. In this case, it could be a headstand, a shoulder stand. But just know you get all the same benefits from this place right here. We need to find that balance between the fast moving, the constantly going, and 
pausing to breathe. Pausing to experience instead of rushing through and never really fully feeling Next, exhale, softly bend the knees, come into your chest and give yourself a great big hug. Rock yourself side to side. When you're ready, let your knees fall to the right, gaze can go left, finding a twist. Any leg shape you'd like, trying to keep that right shoulder and left shoulder down on the mat. Next inhale, come back through center. And as you exhale, release to the other side. Next inhale, back through center. Legs start to find length towards the bottom of the mat. Arms open away from the body. Take a deep breath in, feeling all the way to the very top of the chest. And just let it go to the mouth.
take a deep breath in. Let it go. Feeling to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then gently roll to your favorite side. Gently press yourself to seated. And allow your hands to find their way to your own beautiful heart. And pause. And for just a moment, thank yourself. Acknowledging the amazing, beautiful person that you are. Thank yourself for taking just a little bit of time out of one day. It's just for you. Thank you so much for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.